Okay, so the statement of the problem reads, find the volume of the tetrahedron beneath the plane 3x plus 2y plus z equals 12 in the first octant. What does the first octant mean? It means when x, y, and z are greater than 0. Yeah. So if I were to go ahead and draw this, yeah, in three dimensions. Yeah. So this is x, y, z. Yeah. How do I draw the tetrahedron in three dimensions? I could take, I could find three points. Yeah. If x and y are 0, z is 12. So this point here will be 12, comma 0. If y and z are 0, x is 12 over 3. So that's x equals 4. Yeah? So this is, oops, let me fix this here. This is 0, 0, 12, because it goes x, y, z. And this point here will be 4, comma, 0, comma, 0. Yeah? And if x and z are 0, y is 6. So then we get this point here, 0, 6, 0. And our tetrahedron, as you could see, if I can project a straight line here, yeah? So it looks solid. We'll look 1, 2, oops. yeah, 3. How you like that? So this is our tetrahedron, yeah? And what we could do now since we are trying to find the volume of the tetrahedron beneath the plane, yeah? Beneath the plane, that means we need a surface C to integrate about, yeah? Because basically, if we're trying to find the volume, yeah, our rule says, or our uh, double integral says, you take the double integral of f of x, y, dA. Yeah, on surface D. Now, who's my, so my volume has to be under the surface, yeah? But my surface can be represented by Z, where Z is 12 minus 3X minus 2Y. Okay? Now, where's my region D? My region D is the projection of my surface on the XY plane, yeah? So I could take my region D to be right here. Yeah? And this triangle. And if I were to make a replica of this triangle, yeah? In the XY plane. This would be what? This is the xy plane. So, oops. I will do now. My line goes, this is the y axis, this is the x axis, yeah? So my line goes something like this. Yeah? So now let's go ahead and label this. So this here is the x-axis. This here is my y-axis. This point is what here? 4, 0, yeah? Because this yellow region is this triangle. And this is my d. And so this here is my d. And this point here will be 4, 0. And this point here will be 6, 0. OK? And now, 
notice that my region D is slammed. So the equation of this line is easily obtained by the slope. What's my slope here? Uh, oops, wait, this is 0, 6, yeah? So we wrote it backwards. 0, 6. So the slope is going to be negative 6 over 4, so that's minus 3 over 2x. And my y-intercept is 6, so the equation of this is minus 3 halves x plus 6. So now I can fill into my double integral to obtain the volume of the surface. So my double integral will look something like z is 12 minus 3x minus 2y. Yeah? And my dA, of course, is dx. Or let's do dy dx. Yeah? And my bounds will be... Let me move this over there. Yeah? So my bounds will be... Where's, where am I integrating my y from? From here all the way to here, yeah? So at the very bottom, y is 0. And what's my top? See, y on this region d is dependent on x. Yeah, so so it's minus 3 halves x plus 6, yeah? yeah? And my x goes from 0 to 4. So you fix one bound, and you vary the other according to the first. Right, and so now this double integral is easily obtained, yeah, by integrating on the dy first. So uh, we get 12y minus 3xy minus y squared. And I will have to evaluate this from 0 to minus 3.5x plus 6. And when I'm done, bring this a little bit closer. I'll move this downwards a little bit here. And when I'm done, I will integrate this. So this is from 0. Oops. I will integrate this from 0 to 4 on dx. I will leave the details of the integration for you to work out because it's very straightforward. And I will evaluate this algebra, including the second integral, using the software. <laughs> OK. So um, let's see what we're going to come out with here. So on the first one, we get 9 times x minus 4 squared over 4. And when we integrate this with respect to x from 0 to 4, we get forty-eight. So the volume of this integral bounded by, in the first octant, notice that this is in the first octant, bounded by the three straight lines under the surface z equals 12 minus 3x minus 2y, and using the region d in the xy plane as our surface area of integration, comes out to be 48. You can see how helpful sketches on these problems can really be where you can map out your entire solution by just looking at the figure.
that does it for this question.